Are you thinking about moving to Monmouth County, New Jersey? Did you know there are over 50 municipalities to choose from? It can be a little overwhelming when trying to find the perfect town for your family. In this video, I'm going to cover some of the top towns in Monmouth County, and I'm going to break it down into sections so it's easier to understand and navigate. Before we get into the towns, Monmouth County is 665 square miles with 472 square miles of land and 193 square miles of water. There are some amazing towns here, and today I'm going to talk about what I think are some of the top towns in each section of the county. This week I'm going to focus on the northern part of Monmouth County. There are 10 towns in the northern section, and I'll leave a list of the towns I'm referring to today in the description box below. There are really a few things you should keep in the back of your mind if you're thinking of moving to Monmouth County. The first one is Monmouth County does come with a pretty hefty price tag. Right now, a single family home with four bedrooms and two and a half baths is going to start in the high 400s. And honestly, that's even hard to find. If you shift your options over to a condo or townhouse, you may be able to find something starting in the high, high 300s or even the low 400s. But even then, many times, those are only one or two bedrooms at most. Remember, you do have over 50 towns to choose from, and the price points are as different as the personalities are of each town. So keep that in mind. Monmouth County has some incredible school districts. In fact, many of the districts receive top-notch rankings. So if schools are important to you, that may be another area you want to do a little bit of extra research on. And one last thing before we dive into the towns, I'm sharing with you some of my personal favorite and top choices for towns in the northern part of Monmouth County. That does not mean that there aren't other towns located there that are just as amazing. It all comes down to choice and what you and your family are truly looking for when picking a town. So let's explore these four towns in the northern section of Monmouth County. Homedale is a wonderful town right in the middle of Monmouth County, New Jersey. It is known for its beautiful scenery, great community, and comfortable lifestyle. Homedale covers about 18 square miles and has around 17,000 residents. It is the perfect spot for people who need to commute to New York City or other nearby areas since it's close to major highways. Homes in Homedale are not only beautiful, they come with a hefty price tag. The median sales price is right around $1.1 million. I guess that tells you how desirable this area really is. For shopping, there are plenty of options all along Highway 35 with a wide variety of stores and restaurants. The town is also known for its excellent schools, which consistently receive high rankings. Homedale High School, for example, is frequently ranked among the top in New Jersey, offering strong academic programs and a variety of extracurricular activities. This makes Homedale a popular choice for families who prioritize education. On top of that, Homedale has lovely parks and great attractions like Homedale Park, the PNC Bank Arts Center, where you can enjoy concerts and events. Homedale combines natural beauty with modern conveniences and a strong sense of community, making it an ideal place for families and individuals looking for a high quality of life in Monmouth County. Middletown is another fantastic town located in northern Monmouth County. It's one of the larger towns in the area at 58 square miles and is home to roughly 66,000 residents. Middletown's location is perfect for commuters. Easy access to major highways, New Jersey transit trains, New Jersey buses, as well as ferries right into New York City. The real estate market in Middletown is diverse, with homes averaging at $894,000. However, there are a wide range of options for all different budgets, but the prices do tend to lean to the higher side. Shopping is plentiful, with many local shops as well as larger retail stores, and there are unlimited options for restaurants and dining all throughout the area. If you venture up and down Highway 35, I'm pretty sure you can find just about anything you're looking for. 
making the town appealing to families. Middletown also boasts beautiful park and fabulous recreational facilities. Education is a strong point in Middletown with its public schools consistently receiving high ratings. There are 16 schools in Middletown, not counting private. Middletown High School North and Middletown High School South both offer excellent academic programs and extracurricular activities making the town appealing to families. Up next is Matawan Aberdeen. These are two closely linked towns in Monmouth County, often thought of as together. Combined, they cover around 10 square miles and are home to roughly 26,000 residents. Their convenient location near major highways and the New Jersey Transit train station makes commuting to New York City and other areas a breeze. The housing market in Matawan and Aberdeen offers a variety of housing options. And yes, just to be clear, Matawan and Aberdeen are actually two different towns that are closely linked together and they do share a school district. Right now, the average home price in the Matawan Aberdeen area sits right around $629,000, which does make it attractive for many home buyers. $600,000 is the median price but you can absolutely find a smaller home, a condo, or a townhouse for under $600,000 in the Matawan Aberdeen area. And if that's something you're looking for, reach out to me and I'll get you that information just as soon as possible. For shopping, there are plenty of local shops, restaurants, and larger centers like Aberdeen Town Square, providing a range of retail and dining options. Matawan also has a cute little downtown area and they are really trying to revamp it. And new restaurants, coffee shops, and even some brand new condos and townhomes are all popping up each and every day. The downtown Matawan area is absolutely something you should check out. And if coffee is your thing, they have a bunch of adorable coffee houses down there. I've tried them all. The coffee's really good. Education is a highlight in these towns with the Matawan Aberdeen Regional School District receiving good ratings. Remember, Matawan and Aberdeen do share a common school district, and there are seven schools total. Matawan Regional High School is well regarded for its academic programs and extracurricular activities, also making the Matawan Aberdeen area a popular choice for families relocating to Monmouth County. Up next is the town of Hazlitt. Hazlitt is the town I spent my entire childhood in. I grew up in Raritan Valley, or the Valley, as it was often referred to. Hazlitt is a smaller town at about 5.6 square miles and is home to around 20,000 residents. Its location near major highways, the Garden State Parkway, and the New Jersey Transit train station makes commuting to New York City and other areas pretty convenient. The housing market in Hazlitt is diverse. There is an extremely large range of houses as well as price points. You can find a home here in the 400s, but the past few years have not only seen price increases, there has been a lot of new construction being built right in Hazlitt's and homes are now selling up as high as the $800,000 price range. The location of Hazlitt also allows for plenty of shopping, supermarkets, local restaurants, and more. Hazlitt takes pride in its strong educational system. The Hazlitt Township Public Schools are well-rated and Raritan High School is known for its solid academic programs and various extracurricular activities. There are eight schools in total making up the district and overall, Hazlitt receives a B plus rating. I personally went through the Hazlitt School District and look, I came out pretty fabulous. The town also features beautiful parks and recreational facilities, such as Veterans Memorial Park, the nearby Holmdel Park, as well as the nearby PNC Bank Arts Center, providing for plenty of outdoor activities for its residents. With its combination of good schools, convenient commuting options, and a strong sense of community, Hazlitt is also a wonderful place to live within Monmouth County. So there you have it, my top four towns in Northern Monmouth County, New Jersey. 
please remember, these are just the four towns that I personally chose to highlight today. I chose them not only because they are some of my favorites, but they have become very popular with families that are moving into our area here in Monmouth County. Now, I left out some other towns like Keyport, the Highlands, the Atlantic Highlands, and I have to tell you, these are incredible towns also, and I will dive deeper into them in another video in the near future. If you're interested in more information about any of the towns I covered today, or even those towns that I didn't, reach out and I'll get you all the information that you need. Thank you so much for joining me this week, and I'll catch you on the next one when we talk about some of the top towns in Western Monmouth County. See you then.